This is my gym, Berlin Strength. I am, um, I mean, one thing is that you are such a great coach. Where did you get started? Me, oh, on yeah, strength where did you get sports. With um, well, I, I just did, I did strength sports in great company, you know, and uh, uh, also um, uh, was watching, um, which I think is the greatest coach I've ever seen, uh, John Fairclough from uh, from Adlington Barbell. And I was listening to just like every little word he was saying, and I, I loved his style and I loved his approach. Very no nonsense, very, um, <clears throat> very kind of common sense, you know. And and uh, and he he just had the eye for it, and I, I tried to learn as much as possible. But yeah, training in good company. That's that's where I got. So so basically, we always had a good training crew. When I was training in Manchester in in Olympic Sports Gym or. Or in Bolton, um, my friends there with uh, on Strongman, we had a good training crew who were supportive, and we were always like criticizing and analyzing and discussing each other's training, and that's already coaching. And and the good thing about that is, it, uh, compared to the kind of internet knowledge that that a lot of people get when you get excited about training, you know, you read every fucking thing on the internet. But that's that's so kind of removed from actually seeing someone doing it or knowing the person's individual situation and so on. But if you have a good training crew, you get used to that very quickly. Everyone is different, you know. They have different kind of life situations, jobs, families, you know, time pressures, uh, uh, and, and different uh, physiology and different kind of uh, levers, you know, and that kind of thing. So you kind of then learn to adjust your your advice and your help uh, in different situations and I think that's where it came from um, so I, ne I don't I don't really do much like formal coaching you know it's just talk shit all the time and some of it is right you know some of it is wrong um, it is it is small here uh, especially on the higher level you know there's some good guys but but in, in general there's not like a big enough pool of people but um, but yeah, I think it's growing. I mean, the, the people love doing it, you know. The, um, and this kind of gym as well. We, we're not a strongman gym. We're not a powerlifting gym. We're not a weightlifting gym. We're not a uh, CrossFit or whatever functional functional training gym. Which we're everything, you know. Yeah, we're strength gym because most people they like doing different things, you know. There might be a powerlifter who does some farmers work once in a while and so on. And um, uh, so just really embracing that. I'm very kind of old school place, you know, you don't see many machines here. If you've got a really inclusive gym, but at mm. the same time, it's sort of like no shit, how have you sort of built that sort of I don't fucking know, to be honest, like it's just, uh, I think the people make it, you know, I was just really, really lucky about what kind of people came in and the atmosphere and, and, and also I think, you know, it caught some people by surprise how kind of like very informal attitude and very kind of, um, when we were setting this up, I was talking to the to the members of staff and saying, we're kind of setting up a, a local pub, you know, like a British pub, but it's a gym, you know, so it's it's not just where people come and train and go away. Um, of course, many people like training that and it's fine, you know, a bit more anonymous and sticking to your own things. But most people who come here, they are like first greeting people, you know, they know and, uh, and, and then they get into it and they get support from each other and or share barbells, you know, and that kind of thing. So, so that's, that's the thing. And I, I actually, a lot of the things that I got was, was from visiting good gyms in, in UK, you know, so that's, that's where I got the inspiration for my, uh, cause I, yeah, because I've always wanted to uh, open a gym, you know, I guess many people who are really into training always have that uh, dream. So I always wanted to uh, open a gym and then I came to Berlin to open Strength Shop um, branch here in, in, in mainland Europe. So I helped, helped my friend to set it up in UK and then then uh, decided we need, we need a place here. So I moved here and then after that started running okay, then opened the gym. gym oh, and uh, yeah, and all, but had always like talked to so many gym owners in UK, independent gym owners. And, and uh, and got the inspiration and knowledge from there basically when it was started one of the core ideas was that you had a look around and the equipment was so expensive it was like 
people are getting priced out of the sport, you know. Yeah. And uh, so now, now we try to like have different levels, you know, like there's the cheaper options, and then if you have more money, you get a bit of like better quality and stuff like that. So like two or three levels of stuff, and and uh, yeah. But I, I I hated it myself that you know like we're getting priced out of the sport basically, and. Uh, um, so yeah, it definitely has helped the sport that there is. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. yeah.